efforts over and above the daily activity as well as our weekly operation Chanel. We must sustain the gains. We have therefore increased the frequency and the tempo of our crime prevention and combating operations by increasing police visibility through the blue light patrols, static deployments of rapid response vehicles at identified strategic routes, mounting of ad hoc and roving roadblocks according to the developed weekly operational metrics at identified national and provincial roads that are connecting Gauteng with its neighboring provinces. Alpha, very interesting what you said about the crime wardens. There's been some consternation around these Anyaza, whether or not they are legally appointed, what their rights are. Do you get the sense from from Lieutenant General Esma Wela, um, that, that, that this is going to have longevity, that, that we're going to be able to stick around. Well, she does say that it's brought some um, sort of relief to, you know, at least to go back up with uh, putting capacity issues. In fact, she says uh, they are helping out on the ground with uh, addressing and uh, attending to contact related crimes. However, this seems to be uh, a lack of coordination between the SAPS and uh, the House from crime preventing warden because as we are hearing, uh, uh, the provincial legislature is saying they are not being used for what they are supposed to be used for. So it seems like there are no guidelines that guide police and the crime prevention wardens on how to work together to address crime in the province. Because I do remember when the Premier launched this, um, this program, it did say that these people will be strictly on the ground not to be seen at police stations and it's sort of concerning how now they have been seen in police stations signing affidavits when in fact they're supposed to be on the ground uh, fighting crime making sure that uh, you know street crimes uh, and robberies are addressed in in, in, in in the province alpha thank you very much alpha ramashwana ewn reporter giving us a, a report there on what the police commissioner lieutenant general Ines mawela has been saying about the crime stats for the second quarter of this year at the same time, the head of the Director of Priority Crime Investigation, who was known as the Hawks, Lieutenant General Dr. Advocate, all of the titles of Free Libya, he's been giving an update as well, taking stock of milestones achieved during the second quarter of the financial year, so also that same period of time. Uh, and what Free Libya has been saying about what the Hawks have been doing. The top five uh, national heritage offenses that could be a high number. And diamonds, 52 for narcotics, and 48 for cash and transit uh, robberies, while is for crime. During the arrest, the DPC also seen the various exhibits, including features of metals and diamonds, and dangerous weapons, vehicles, cash, firearms, ammunition. As well as uh, electronic devices worth 92,407,269 rands. In terms of crime categories relating to convictions, out of uh, the 244, fraud contributed to uh, the highest number, which is 75, which is made of uh, 62 South Africans six foreign nationals and seven companies. The second is the British metals and diamond which is a day of uh, 51 accused persons. In terms of the prevention of organized crime act which is also called poker, a total number of 30 accused persons and two companies were convicted 
on a pattern of racketeering activity and the money laundering. So that is the head of the Hawks, Godfrey Levia, and the beer, Dr. Advocate Godfrey Levia, giving us an update there on what the Hawks have been doing. Remember that in many of the high profile cases, the NPA is still very much reliant on the Hawks uh, to build the cases that they take to court because we still don't have investigative capacity within the investigating director. So uh, it's interesting to hear what Godfrey Levia and his team have been busy with and some of the milestones achieved there. Does that give you some satisfaction, some solace uh, in light of the fact that we haven't yet seen convictions to state capture cases. We know that often there's too much focus on state capture cases when so many other things are happening as well. And when you hear the crime stats, when you hear Godfrey Rivier speak, does that give you comfort that police are, are active, that they are doing things, that things are happening, or is it just an, an empty kind of promise for you? Open the Absa Cash Invest Tracker account and earn the best rates in the market. More than the top 10 money market funds average returns. Enjoy unmatched advantages at an interest rate of 8.9% per annum. Plus, if you open your account today, you could win your share of 15 million rand in luxury travel experiences for two. Yes, you heard right. A trip for you and your partner. My bank does that. Open yours today in less than five minutes on the banking app at your nearest Absa branch or consult your private banker or call 0860-111-515. Apps is an authorized FSP and a registered credit provider. T's and T's apply. Get your share of 145 million rand in self-medication savings at clicks, such as Mybulin, 30 tablets, 81.99, Omiflux, 14 capsules, 17.99, Neurobium, 30 tablets, 168 rand. That is Diabetes Awareness Month, so visit a clicks clinic for a blood glucose screening. Valid until 30 November and free to non-medical aid members. Click, feel good, pay less. Space with Cash Build. Looking to enhance your home and create more space with a Shell DIY project? Come to Cash Build. Get affordable alternative energy products at Cash Build. For free local delivery, come to Cash Build. Look out for Amadil Zum Giorgio at your nearest Cash Build store to get a shop shop deal on selected items. Cash Build. Quality building materials, tools, paint, and hardware at the lowest prices. Ford is turning 100, and there's never been a better time to buy a brand new Ford. We're giving away 100 vouchers worth an amazing 50,000 Rand each, and the sensational grand prize of us paying for one lucky winner's Ford. Celebration of the century. Visit a Ford dealer, buy a new Ford, and win. TNC Supply. This November, Joburg, a world-class African city, is alive with possibilities at the Joburg Open. From the 23rd to the 26th of November, Houghton Golf Club sees the best local and international pros taking each other on in the heart of Joburg. Get your tickets at sunshinetour.com and watch it all on Supersport. Greatness begins here in Joburg, a world-class African city. 702. Let's walk the talk. 12.20 on the Madeira Report. The Minister of Labour, Tulas Nessi, has just started a media briefing. He's briefing the media on the latest processes and actions that he's taken to set the agreement aside since the outbreak of the story by the media in December last year. All of this with the allegations made by the CEO of Tuja Holdings, Mtunzi Mduaba, about the fact that some ministers uh, allegedly tried to uh, get a bribe implicated in the 500 million man scandal involving Tuja, the UIF's 750,000 rand jobs deal. The Sunday World reporting that three ministers demanded 10% billion rand in the deal. Also the ANC Secretary General Fakile Mbalula denies this as well to us. Lacey also denying it. Let's have a listen to what he is saying right Taking the case of uh, DG Lamad wrote and alerted Mr Mdwaba to the fact that whereas the argument was signed, it did not comply with the applicable law. In terms of section 54.2 of the Half Management Act of 1999, what called PFMA, as amended, read with the National 
advisory note on the applications under section 54 of the PMA by the public entities. J13, 13 July 2000, such an agreement needed to be approved by the Minister of Employment and Labour and Minister of Finance. I want to Section 2 of the PFMA. You can read it for some. Having not been so approved, Advocate Yapwat or brought to Mr. Mdoba attention, to his attention, the argument is illegal and invalid. I had to be raised several concerns of the press or about the process. 